let's paint up some Ithilien Rangers of Gondor. Stalwart defenders of Gondor's borders that rushed to the defense of Osgiliath at the news of Mordor's invasion of the city. These models are really organic with a lot of flowing fabric, so I've decided to use mainly Army Painter Speed Paints to speed up the process. So without any further ado, let's get into it. To help speed up priming and zenithal highlighting, I go ahead and attach all the rangers onto a paint stick using double-sided tape. I first prime all my models with black primer using an airbrush. I spray the models up and down the stick. I make sure that they are covered all the way around from all angles. I next switch to white primer which I zenithal highlight all the models at about a 30 degree angle. Using a paint stick is really helpful here because I'm able to lay them down on all the models very quickly without having to lift them up one at a time. Areas that I wanted a little bit lighter, I went ahead and applied more white primer. Unlike my first two videos in this series, I decided to paint these individually instead of on a stick. They had a lot of tight areas and I really needed good access to them. I started with the Army Painter Speed Paint Camo Cloak. This is a very nice dark green, but yet with a lot of definition between shadow and highlights. The cloaks had a lot of surface area, so I used a broad brush which allowed me to lay down a lot of color very quickly. If you are painting along to this tutorial, do not miss the aprons on the front of some of the models. The rangers wear a very dark brown leather, which I will recreate with dark wood. This is an army painter speed paint, and I use a slightly smaller, pointed tip brush to put it onto the tunics, as well as the pants. The Van Braces on all their arms also get this dark brown leather color. The next Army Painter Speed Paint is Grim Black and I put this on all the bows and the quivers. On their sleeves and inner shirts. And the masks on a few of the models. I also apply black onto all the boots. I use this grim black speed paint on all the handles of the spears on the models that carry them. Switching to plate mill metal, which is a very bright silver, I go ahead and apply it on all the spearheads. And also on each bow, the tips are silver as well. Some of the ranges wield swords and the exposed blades get the same plate mail metal. I use hardened leather and zealot yellow for the hair and for some of the models, beards. I tried to use a slightly lighter color in these areas to better contrast against the dark uniforms that they were wearing. Obviously, these were my hair color choices, but you can choose whatever color that you want. I next apply greedy gold metallic paint onto all the hilts and pommels of the swords. Now onto the skin of the models. I use barbarian flesh for all the hands and exposed faces of each ranger. I didn't use crusader skin speed paint because I actually find that paint a little bit watered down and I wanted these guys to have a little bit more of a vibrant skin tone. Desiring an off-white look, I apply palette bone speed paint onto all the feathers of the arrows. This next color might seem uh, unnatural, but I do enjoy using the Crotic Flesh from Army Painter to paint anything that looks olive drab. 
it's basically a light beige color with a hint of green and it works really well for what I'm trying to use it for here. Onward to washes, I use strong tone and this gets applied to anywhere that used acrylic paint and not speed paint. The speed painted areas I just leave alone because they are already highlighted and shadowed. Next onto the eyes, I apply matte white which I water down a little bit to make it slightly runny and I apply it with a small brush into each eye socket. Switching to matte black and applying it with a sharp tip of a toothpick, I put all the pupils on all the eyes. I really enjoyed this process because these models, even though they were simple, had a lot of facial expressions. Onward to basing. These models are so cool that you really shouldn't overbase them. Just apply a little bit of Elmer's glue and rub it in with an old brush and then dip the bases into a basing medium of your choice. I picked Battlefield Green by Army Painter which is a nice vibrant green which goes well with the forces of good in Lord of the Rings. I had a lot of white overspray from my dry brushing so I just grabbed some black primer and I apply it all around the rims on each of the models just to clean them up. At this point, I'm all done and all 12 rangers are fully painted up. I really enjoyed painting up these models. They were full of character and expressions with just enough details to make it fun to paint. All 12 models took me about two and a half hours. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss the next few videos for my Battle of Askeliath box set. Thank you so much for watching, happy hobbying, and I will see you soon.